Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new so far we are jumping in again and we are gonna jump in as I don't know we've got so many like people now we've got quite a lot of marks as them um we could try and do hush and mega satan as Lilith that might be a good idea give that a little go uh, Lilith can be a little bit of a tricky one on occasion but we don't mind her we don't mind her we can we can have good times as her I'd like to get this before you end up, uh, there you go, before you end up spashing down. As for the question of the day today, what do you think of, um, of the pe people's, like, judgment on height? Because I feel like there's a very big judgment, both in the dating world, but just in general, on, like, how tall you are or how short you are. What, what's people's general consensus on that? I, mean, I know most people probably say it doesn't fucking matter, but, <clears throat> like, does it annoy you? <laughs> Is it something you've had to deal with? It'd be interesting to know. And also, how tall are you? There you go. I'm only 5'8". I'm, I'm, I'm pretty short for a, for a dude. I'm not a, I'm not a tall boy. But, um, yeah, I've got... It, it, is, it is sort of, not strange, but, like, a little bit off being the, the like, shortest guy in my friend group all the time. Because I have a few friends that are, like, 6'4 and stuff. And I feel like a short ass. But, it, like I said, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter all that much. Oh, I have to say... Slightly, slightly off put at the moment because I just ate and I ate a lot. <laughs> I had a very, very strange combination of foods for my uh, for my dinner, um, and there is literally no way anyone would ever guess what I've had. So I'll just tell you, I had beef stroganoff, quite nice, quite normal, and sushi. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, I was not really planning on it, but that's what I had. Um, this this thing's real good. Item pencils reroll when you touch them. Rerolled items will attempt to be of a higher quality than the original item. Bricks, if dropped, on use spawns are shattered. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take this and um, gamble on not having a... What's it called anymore? A box. It's pretty risky, but I really, really like... The shattered dice item. It's very risky because it means that basically all items aren't the items they say that they are, which makes things harder. But at the same time, it means that all of our items are going to get upgraded in quality when plausible, which is good for us. I like the idea behind that. It's just going to mean that not having our uh, boxes is going to be a little bit I iffy in certain rooms, but it shouldn't be that bad, I wouldn't think. Oh, really? You're going to walk right into that bad boy? Luckily, we've got him in, like, the perfect position to keep him trapped. So this won't be this. It'll be something even better. And we get that as well. Good, good. Um, and we go down to the next floor. We're trying to do Hush and uh, Delirium, was it? Was it Hush and Delirium we were trying to do? Yes. Okay, so pretty pretty tough challenge in terms of what we've got to try and do here. Yeah, so we get the freezing at the start of the room, the small damage up, and the soul heart from this. Yeah, this item's, this item's wacky. But I like it. And also we've got a Lemmageddon Wisp Heart now as well to get a few more a few more friends around us, which is kind of nice. A few more Gemini babies. Well, Gem we got Gemini this time. We're not going to Gemini every time, obviously, but we got Gemini this time. At the minute, I've been, uh, been re-watching through um, Orange is the New Black, um, which is a series that I watched when it originally aired, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's been so long now since it originally aired that, um, yeah, I've been re-watching it, and goddamn... It's, it's so crazy how, like, something that you enjoyed so much, you can forget so much of. Like, I just so much of it, I just don't remember at all. I'd be really, really enjoying it. Um, especially, like, season sort of three, um, three and four have been really, really good. I've really liked those seasons. Um, I don't know if anyone else has watched it, but if you haven't, you should. But anyways, uh, with, like, the riots and stuff going on, that's, that stuff was pretty awesome. Um, it was really interesting. But yeah, now we're into the seasons that, I wouldn't say they're bad, but seasons that I definitely remember being worse, uh, the last two seasons, and we're just going to have to sort of see how it goes. See how it goes. Because yeah, I don't really remember much about them. M maybe I'm misremembering them a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, unfortunately, considering we're trying to go to Hush here, the speed has not been, not been there. But... We are clearing rooms quickly, though. So we're going to get this, and it's going to get rid of Parasite. Love that. Good stuff, good stuff. Right. Let's get on our way. 
yeah, I, I like this idea of just our items constantly being not what we want them to be, not what we see them as, but upgraded. The, the biggest downside is going to be if we get quality 4 items, it's not going to be a quality 4 item anymore. Uh, well, no, it, it might still be a quality 4 item, but it won't be the one that we want to pick up, is, is more so the case. Um, it probably will still stay at quality 4. But it is going to be slightly inconvenient if we get a really good, like, Angel Deal item, and then we don't actually get the Angel Deal item sort of thing. Can you chill out, my good sir? I'd like to kill you somewhat quickly. Fraudulent Fungus becomes Divorce Papers. Nice. And then down to the next floor, because we want to try and do Mega Satan here, right? No, we don't, technically, but I do... Oh, we got marked, okay. Wasn't expecting marked and all of this. Um, yeah, we're not doing Mega Satan, but I, I do still want to do Angel Deal regardless. I think it makes most sense when we've got this little red HP. We're probably not going to get too many stuff from um, Cambion Conception here. I don't know if that's going to be play too big of a role here for us, but we'll see. We'll see. At the minute, I'm just trying to speed along and make sure we can, uh, we can make it to Hush. Because we need to be somewhat quick. It doesn't, like, when you're not doing boss rush and hush, you can be, you don't have to be super, super speedy, but obviously you can't be leisurely. You still have to make sure that we're keeping pace. Yeah, it's been quite nice to, to just watch through another TV show and, and, like I said, have, like, very little memory of what happens. Like, I, I, I remembered sort of the, the plot points vaguely, and I also sort of remembered things as I saw them happen, but I didn't sort of see them coming ahead of time. Um, so it was quite a surprise. It's quite nice when you can do that with a TV show. There's not many of those I can do. Cause I, I tend to, the way that I uh, watch TV, is I tend to find like seven or eight comfort shows and just watch them over and over and over again. Um, so like The Office, um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, stuff like that. I've seen like loads of times over and over. And I'll continue to watch them over and over. <laughs> I just enjoy watching TV that way. Which I know to some people is maddening. Some people can't watch something more than once. Uh, Shattered Orb. Unfortunately, this isn't something that we can grab here. Now, I don't know how this works, because it say our active says, um, breaks if dropped. Now, does touching that drop this, or does it re-roll that? I really don't know. Can be thrown at enemies to capture their soul, capture enemies tend to spirit orbs corresponding to their soul's element. It seems interesting, but I'm going to just keep this for now, because I think that if I if I drop this, as in, like, I pick up another active, it will automatically cease to exist. And I'd rather not, not have that happen. Unfortunately, that is going to be the only thing here. Active items do put a downer on our, uh, on our parade a little bit here. See, restock is going to become Golden Shovel. See, now that's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> it just deleted itself. Right, what does a golden shovel do? Digs up once two golden chests and a random golden pickup. Opens up a member card trapdoor on a use of a direct uh, decorative tile. This seems pretty goddamn good. <laughs> this seems pretty goddamn good. Is this a milkshake item as well? I'm going to guess it is. But yeah, that, 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 that thing's gone now. I'm going to see how this thing works. That guy becomes Spirit of Vet Virtulence, which I didn't get to read. Right, let's drop it a sec. Throw a toxic orb that explodes into damaging poison cloud. Enemies inside will be slowed and take damage over time. The cloud grows larger the more damage it deals, and it transforms hearts and beggars into their rotten variants. Spirit of oh, it's been it's been voiced as well. That's pretty cool. Interesting. I kind of more down with the golden shovel, though. I think. Yeah, I'm a little annoyed that the shattered, the shattered dice thing is able to break itself by giving you an active item. I think that's a little, a little poo poo stinky, unfortunately. I think that's not very fun. <laughs> I mean, I guess it would be strong if you could just keep it the whole run, but I don't know. Seems a little not fun to just have it be able to destroy itself. Guess that's the risk you take, though. So far, though, we got some good items, at least. And the active it gave us is actually pretty good, too, which is nice. 
Good stuff, and we got Pentagram here, but that would have been a quality four, baby. Anyways, we got Perfection, which is kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting to get Perfection, but there you go. And yeah, we'll keep it up with the uh, the Golden Shovel right now, because I like the idea of uh, a lot of Golden Chests to mess around with. And then um, a Golden Pickup on top of that, like, that's, that's all very good. We do need uh, ability to get more keys, though, just be lucky and find more keys, because... At the moment, it's not great to uh, not great to have the ability to get all these golden chests and no real way to open them. That's a bit sad. Nothing much going on there. I guess I could play this for um, Camion Conception. We got Bucket of Blood. Nice. Uh, yeah, just take it. Wow, that's a lot of red hearts. That's actually probably pretty good for us for uh, playing more blood banks in the future. Um, do we have purity right now? I think we do. That's one of our, uh, one of our thingies, that is. There's another key, lovely. Yeah, as one of our, um, Lemmageddon Wisps, I think we have purity, because I've got a blue aura around me right now, and my damage has gone down a bit from when I last saw it, I think. If I remember correctly. I'm liking having Mark right now. I, I genuinely really enjoy Mark as an item. I think it's an item that is wholeheartedly underrated just because it's a bit it's a bit inconvenient to use at times. But I think overall being able to shoot like diagonally is, is really, really nice. Parasite's also helping. It'd be nice if I could just aim slightly better as well though. It's nice that we have uh, perfection to try and get more keys and stuff here. Hopefully we can get some good items from our uh, golden chests as well. Good, good. Ooh, hello. Unfortunately that one didn't give us a black heart, but then again, we are full up on black hearts, so we didn't really need it. Okay, flies are doing a good job too. We get those flies from that bag, or we get flies from that item. I don't know. Alright, pop in here. Tower of Babel. Unfortunately, another active item. Um, I like the fact that this can create the, the thingy shops as well, member card shops. But right now, money-wise, we're not in a great spot for that to be super useful. I guess I could bomb a donation machine and try and work with it that way. Okay, there are hey, more keys, lovely. Okay, gotta try and use the uh, the freezing effect while I can. But yeah, what's what's a TV show you you guys have like rediscovered recently or like rewatched and just really thoroughly enjoyed that you maybe haven't rewatched in a while? There's quite a few like older TV shows that I need to I need to watch that I haven't like Seinfeld and Cheers and stuff like that. Especially Cheers, I feel like that's a really good TV show that I missed out on because I was just too young at the time when it came out. I don't know if it's maybe a bit too dated now though. I don't know. Seems like it could be quite good though. I really like uh, Ted Danson in um, The Good Place, and I know that he's one of the main characters in Cheers, so... I at least know that I uh, I like one of the actors in it quite a lot. By the way, the reason I'm not using my active right now is because... I don't know why I'm not using my active right now, I'll be honest. I'm, I, I was going to say I'm waiting for the shop, but... It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, to be honest. Get out of here, you. Right. Yeah, let's 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 quickly go to the shop actually. See if I can make something work over there. Okay. Bomb this open. Not as much money as I was hoping for. But then let's um find a decorative tile, which is this. And there you go. That's really cool. And then we get Unfortunately, not the not the best bunch of stuff. I will take wooden spoon, but otherwise, not not ideal for the amount of charges we used on that. I I would say. Hey, her though. Let's uh let's just continue on. Bit annoying to get another active item from our uh, from our item room there. Like I said, active items in your item room when you've already got them is just super annoying. This is kind of a hard boss room for this guy, to be honest. Although, saying that, does make this face specifically quite a bit easier. There you go. 
Is that going to brimstone me? Yeah. Oh god, I, I kind of forget that he shoots while he's doing his brimstone. Yeah, not really sure how I was meant to dodge that with all the rocks in the way, to be honest. That's an unfortunate loss of good old perfection there. I'm a little, little bit miffed about that. A little bit of speed upgrade, lovely. Holy mantle, very, very nice. Um, we're not doing Mega Saints, I don't need to bomb those guys. Right, keep it going, keep it going. Try and do Hush, of course. Good run thus far, though. Good run thus far, especially I fire it. Okay, so now we've gained our damage aura from Purity. Yes, we definitely do have Purity. To be fair, I prefer um, fire it, but I will certainly uh, take this and be pretty happy with it. Oh, Purity's gone now. I was like, yeah, you have Holy Mantle to protect Purity. That's gone. We also lost whatever the other thing there was. Annoying. Oh, it was marked. No, we lost marked. I'm kind of sad to see it go, to be honest. I got so used to it. It's actually really nice with this character as well when you've got the delayed shooting mechanics to just have um, marks constantly firing. It's a little easier to manoeuvre and work with. Now we've got to fire like some normal schlup. Like some schluppy schlup. Gotta remember I have um, Holy Mantle here so I can be a bit more aggressive. Yet again, we're getting a lot of requirements for keys here. And we don't have a hell of a lot of keys to work with. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. I'll be honest. This is some shit. I literally have a mod that reduces the amount of active items if you already have one. Look how many active items we've found. So, this is a great run where we've so far missed out on three item rooms in a row. It just, it's just not fun. <laughs> it just ruins the momentum of a run when you just get constant active items. A really, really bad design, in my opinion. Especially considering active items really aren't that good. Like, like I, active items as a whole can be useful, but I really feel like rarely does an active item, like, sell the whole run. Like that. Yeah, yeah. I did get hit there as well, actually. I don't know. I kind of just want to leave. Good old toy chest. Jawbreaker here is good. Got them. I suppose getting a golden key from this makes it worth just using all the time, just in case I do get a golden one. Don't like the way this is this this boss fight is going so far. And so so far it's going pretty horribly. This little orb is just undying. Okay, it keeps absorbing other orbs too. I don't know what this means. I've never fought this boss this long before. It's very perplexing. Uh, it re-becomes him, what the hell? Okay. Somehow I survived that. Don't ask me how. Guppy's tail, I guess, we could go for. Oh god, I don't know what to think about this. I do not know what to think about this as a run. Um, I don't know what the f that first trinket I've got in there is. Second one, sorry. Some sort of gemstone thing. Purple gemstone sort of looking. I don't know, some sort of fuckery. Okay. You guys do you. I don't think we need any of the rest of these, so just kill him. Kind of tend to do sack rooms, try and get more players on uh, Cambian Conception here, because... Missing out on all our item rooms makes me now want to, like, use Cambion Conception to get some items, because I feel like I'm missing out on quite a few. It'd be good to have a few more in the in the back pocket, you know? Have something to make up for the lost time. Not always that easy, though. You might end up getting trash like Demon Baby. 
Could use some more base damage as well here. Pentagram's good, but it won't last forever. Ooh. We definitely play this. We did get Leech, which is pretty goddamn useful. We could play Leech to just get a bunch of HP here, I guess. There you go. Yeah, let's just pop that here. Got a golden penny this time. Hello. Go on, Leech. Get him. Get him, Leech. Yeah, Leech, Leech should be able to get us a bunch of HP here, which can give us more money, which can give us more hits. Could be a little bit time consuming, I guess, so I should try and weaken the enemies up a little bit first. Not so much that I kill them, though. I don't have a key for this door, either. Goddamn, Leech is so strong. He, he is the G. He won me, uh, what's it called? Ultra Hard Challenge. Oh, God damn it! Oh, that was a waste. You can get all of these buddies, can't you? Beautiful. Almost back to full HP again here. This is what I'm saying about. You can handle all of these as well. Okay, there you go. He's got them all. Right. We got a key finally. Back we go for our item room, which will be another active item. There you go. Told you. Waste of our goddamn time. Cool. Still no second friend though yet. Little unfortunate. Leech, get in there. You went for the wrong one, you doofus. Not a good room to be using Leech on, really. Ah, for God's sake, Leech. I was hoping you'd be my hero, baby. Oh, I need keys again, though. God damn it. It wasn't really working out the way I hoped it would. Hey, we got a second one. Good because that's what I was hoping for. That's what I've been waiting for. Right. We're at 19 minutes on Dank Dips 2. We've got plenty of time here. Let's go back to this cash room over here. Okay. I was hoping for a succubus or another incubus, to be honest, but this'll have to do. Leechy boy, get in there. Oh, come on, everything requires keys. I don't got them have keys. Might as well bomb that and get some more. We need BFF is what we need. BFF would be very good roundabout now. Ooh, uh, what we should do is uh, da -da -da -da. start opening a few of these up with the money that we've gained. The hell we got going on here? Diamond shard, tinted rock, same as Oh, it's another tinted rock based one. Uh, we'll definitely grab that. We'll grab that as well. Good stuff. Okay, try and get as much money as we can this floor. Leech, you know what to do. I mean, barely, but you, you do. Leech, please latch. Why are they so bad at, like, going after enemies sometimes? The AI is so broken on them. Okay, his AI is stuck on this thing, apparently. They're so weak, my guy. They're so weak, just 
Get them while they're not jumping, please. They just keep jumping. Like, how are you not going for him right now? This, this guy's got so much health. Just a waste of time at this point. I wish I had spider mod to see how close he was to dead. Okay. We've got almost full HP again here, so... We probably could have played the sack room at this rate, to be honest. I mean, this machine's bound to break at some point, right? Right. Good stuff. Probably close to another friend here. This was a pretty successful floor for us. I think. Friend card is good. Pop that strength card. We've kind of taken a run that, that started to fail and brought it back a little bit. Not fully brought it back, mind you, but brought it back a bit. Cool. Um, we're trying to do Hush and Delirium here, so we'll just take that. That's not great to see. Not really what I wanted here, but at least Leech is latched. Didn't mean to open that either. Waste of the key. Got a lump of coal, though. Right, down we go. Oh my god, this has been a trial. The trials and tribulations of this has been quite dire. Oh lord, this room is uh, a little fucked. I do not like the look of this room at all. How am I meant to not get hit here? Luckily I've got Holy Mantle, so even if I do I should be okay, but... don't like the amount of fellas. Need more luck as well to get more uh, teeth shots coming in. So they are good when we do get them. <gasps> a key. We're still going to be using our uh, shovel to get member access cards, though, I think. A really cool idea for an item. I can see why it's quality 4. It's very good. It's multi purpose. Two more rooms and we can give it a go. Ow, I got whipped by that guy. Oh, how the... How am I to dodge you? We're replenishing our red hearts, at least. And we're looking for a, a floor tile. I don't see one at the moment. Where's a decorative floor tile? This, maybe? Yeah, good. Unfortunately, terrible. <laughs> Items on offer here are not even worth purchasing. Kind of annoying. Right. Keep her going there. Seems like we're going the right way at least so far. And it's, we've got decent enough damage now to be reasonably happy with how things are going. Don't be spewing out extra kids, please. Extra money's lovely, we just need extra charges now. Okay. I don't really remember what you do. I don't think I've ever seen you do that blood attack before. That was kind of strange. Okay. But, goddamn. Game gets hard at this, uh, at this rate. I'll pop a key in here just to see what we get. Oh, God damn. We do, there's, a, there's a battery there, though. That's got merit. This is a weird room, man. Thank God for Holy Mantle there. Oh, and you still hit me. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. Yeah, back to, back to Warzone for this, after this for me, I think. But then this week, I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of recording prep to do because it is indeed... Um, Christmas coming up very shortly, and I'll be taking a, a break off of YouTube to spend time with the fam. 
and I'll be away from home, so I'll have to just prepare all my recordings and stuff. I get you guys will still be getting videos, of course, but I won't be here as much. Is what I mean. Lovely. I, I find it really hard to find the decorative floor bits on this floor, you know. Is this going to be a different shop or the same one? Please don't say it's the same one. Oh, it's the same one. Okay, I should have known. I should have known that's how that was going to work, but it's a little depressing to actually have it confirmed. I'll be honest. Toy drum, good stuff. Second secret room, maybe. Lovely. Ooh. Smelty trinket. Yes, please. Yeah, hello, you. This guy's not too bad anymore, is he? No, definitely not. He is pretty much dead. I'm HP. Next floor. Okay, I don't know how I feel about Hush at this point. We've really not not got that great a run. We also need seven keys this floor to actually be able to fully take advantage of the Hush floor, of which we do not have even close to that. So I'm hoping for a hell of a lot more keys. Well, there's two at least. I could gamble my keys and try and get some more, but it doesn't seem like the wisest of choices. In fact, I'm going to bomb you both. And you just gave me more bombs. I needed keys, game. It can be so brutal. Oh god, I kind of forgot how those guys worked. It's so tantalizing to open these golden chests, but... I should save it for the uh, the four that are on uh, the hush floor. I don't know why, but I feel like I always get an item from at least one of the four on hush floors. It's, it's worth holding out for those ones specifically. I will just do this, try and get a golden key though, because why not? Okay, this is, this is tricky because I can't really get past that guy too easily. Hey, okay, the key economy, not bad right now. Not good, but not bad. We've at least got enough now to open up the item rooms and shop. Which is the main thing we care about. So those item rooms, they're not just going to have... They're not just going to have more active items in them, are they, game? Are they? You promise me that, don't you, game? Oh, fuck me. Right through here. That could be pretty good. We'll take that along with us. Hoping for a decent payout from that. In terms of uh, re-rolling into a devil or angel item at some point. Could be useful. Definitely try and use it on Hush. Come on, Keys. You know you owe me. The noise those enemies make is horrible. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Now we can open up all of these. I'm gonna go. We're, we're, we've got time, so I'm gonna go back and. Oh, there you go, baby. That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Oh, okay. When it rains, when it rains, it pours. Is that the, is that the expression? When it rains, it pours. When it suns, it shines. Is what I was gonna say. Don't think that's correct. Yumheart? God damn it. All that work for Yumheart. Pull Root's actually pretty good as well. Can give us some interesting tier effects applied. Okay. We're all good. We've got seven keys now as well, so we've got exactly the amount we need. As long as we can actually reach Hush in time now is the only thing, because... 
Honestly, I'm a little slower than I thought I'd be at this point. Right, boss fan. That is... How on earth did you manage to think that that's what I wanted to do with that bomb? Oh, why? It's okay. We've not lost too much health here. We're fine. Okay, devil deal. We've got um, just under a minute to take a look at this. Uh, money equals power will take. Thank you. Okay, see how this goes. Oh, goddamn, this has been stressful. Hey, we got three items here. Okay, probably going to just Soul of Eden these, to be honest. Pretty happy with this. Not so happy with those two. Dunn's cap. We got the doggy bag. Actually, that was pretty good last time. I'll take that. Um, Rotten baby's fine. Each creep. Unfortunately, nothing great in here. Right. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god. This, these attacks are so insane. Holy Mantle's gone already. Kind of expected that. Peach creep. It's 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 fun that you're trying, but you're not gonna you're not gonna be doing much for us, I don't think. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have golden bombs or anything this floor, so this is going to be au natural. We can use the bombs that we have, at least, to do some good damage. It's nothing crazy, but if we can hit with them, it's something. We'll try and get our pull route whenever we can as well. This one's a bleed pull route. This one's a shrinking one. Unfortunately, bleed doesn't do much to a very stationary enemy. Oh, teeth shots. When the teeth shots hit, they're going to be insane. Wasn't paying attention to the flies there. I kind of need to stand quite close because of uh, Proptosis. Not Proptosis, uh, Polyphemus. I always get those two confused in name. I don't get the items themselves confused, but the name I get confused a lot. I've right, got him. Just about halfway now. There you go, halfway. I always see that little crack in the health bar as the halfway mark. I'm not sure if it actually is, but it looks like it is. It looks to be about halfway. Okay, keep up this. We got our teeth shots doing their thing. Oh, really? That hit me? Let's see. Oh, bugger. Okay, let's not get hit too much more, please, because that was some fairly bad hits right there. Oh, my pull roots are all at the other side at the moment as well. Good. You've almost perished, my guy. We've got high speed here, so these things are coming at us at high speed as well. It's all slippy, heck. You're nearly done. Okay. That is hush done, at least. Incubus unlocked, finally. Great unlock there. To the next floor. Okay. Not entirely sure how this is going to go. Oh, really? Not the one I was looking for. I need. I really badly need golden keys. Once I get golden keys, I can open up Every chest we see and hopefully get some good items. Money's not going to do too much from us, for us apart from a little bit of damage. Hopefully we can bolster our HP a little bit as well at some point because our HP isn't amazing right now. Especially not for a delirium fight, I wouldn't say. Good thing is room to room we shouldn't lose too much HP. Also, I did there. If you heard that, I apologise. I'm drinking a kind of Fanta right now, so... 
There's a specific reason. Why is there no keys in anything? Do not like Bike Boy. Oh, come on now. We do kill things very quickly, I will say. The killing speed right now is uh, it's very, very nice. Oh, really? Money again? This is evil. There's a key at least. One key gives us ten keys. Or oh, the stapler. I'm pretty happy with the stapler. Not seen any bosses as of yet. Dude, I flies from rotten, from rotten uh, baby, just absolutely destroy. It's kind of amazing. It's kind of amazing, dude. Okay, up to ninety nine cent now as well. That's nice. Ah ah! Ghost was in a weird position then. I think the pull roots maybe deal our damage or something like that because they are doing some work right now. Yeah, pull root just like rinse through both of those guys. There it is. There it is, baby. Okay, you can go back and open up everything now. See, that that part of this active item makes it pretty broken. <laughs> oh, there's a key. Give me one now, dear. Of course. I'm just looking for items, of course, at this point. And potential fire rate increases. Go away, Brimstone Ghosts. Gives me all the keys now, all the keys in the world. Good. We said we're storming through the rooms at this point. Hey, first boss. Will it be our last boss? We'll see. It is. Not a great start, because uh, we don't have a, a great lot of uh, stuff, and we could have got a lot more items out of this, but... It's fine, I guess. Luckily, we're doing good damage, so we should be able to outpace this guy, but you never really know how Delirium's going to go. I'm not particularly confident, I'll be honest. Yeah, I don't even know what hit me then. The baby hush... I don't want to fight the baby hush, please. I don't know how I'm meant to dodge some of this. Some of that I'm just making. Dude, stop spawning baby hush. Baby hush is very strong. He has many bad attacks. That I cannot deal with very easily. I don't know what happened then, but it did a lot of damage. Okay, monstrous, mostly fine. Mum's heart is mostly fine. There's some of the bosses like like Krampus and stuff that just move way too fast to do anything with. Monstro's a really good one though, because you can see his jumps and predict where he's gonna be. Them shots just went right over my head. Okay, there you go, we got it. Oh, a little bit sketchy, but. We got there, that run ended up being not too bad in the end, especially for a run where we got rid of our box so early on. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I'll see what's on both of these, nothing. And we'll see what we unlock for this, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.